A typical centrifugal pump will have a number of curves that are published by the manufacturer. The most important is the head volume curve. That starts at a point called the closed valve head where the pump is not actually doing any work, just generating pressure. It's a point where we don't want the pump to work at all because it's simply churning at that point. The flow rate then increases and the available head drops off. The power curve represents the effect of the head and the flow and the efficiency. The other curve that's shown on this set is the NPSH, the net positive suction head required. That's the immersion that the pump impeller needs to avoid it cavitating and becoming damaged. And the other point, the best efficiency point, this is where we really want the pump to run to achieve the best overall solution for our particular system.